the end is near. It's crystal clear. All part of my master plan. Well, those funky noises are not part of the master plan. Okay. Push that shit. Give me that stuff. Ammo check. Grenades, good. Plasma, excellent. Rocket launcher, wonderful. BFG is looking just fine. None of these matter. That one still kind of matters. It's nice and full. If I have to, if I gotta spray, I will. But um, yeah, it's pretty much big ball of weapons from here on out.
probably pre-damaged already from the Soul Cube slash BFG. But holy crap, how hard would that have been if I didn't kind of glitch him out or hide up here? The Arch Vial didn't touch me. They pretty much threw one of those green projectiles at me and I was I was straight after that. Oh boy. It's kinda close quarters for the BFG as well, I know. That was probably not the most effective weapon to use. Um, but man, survived that well. And I thought we were gonna attack by spiders a little bit more serious than a spider. Especially with some health laying around. I guess you're, some, you're intended to kinda kite them around here. And just pick up health on the rotation. Alright, hold on a second. So... We can go there. What does this say? Access card. Alright, so we're probably gonna get pick that up with over here. Taken. Those barrels definitely helped. Very professional. Give me that armor. All that armor. I want that armor. That's all I can get, I think, right? Okay, so we got some backup supplies here. A couple pickaxes. I doubt that's what they were using to make this tunnel. How were they looking for using pickaxes? There's a backup armor and some more ammunition. Just want me to get down. Whoa, what's it doing? It's pushing me away. That's weird. It like rubber banded me, magnetically pushed me over that. That's right there. Well, didn't really need it. Uh, storage room. Okay, so. The flashlight just died. Jackhammer. Um, got the storage room card. I'm gonna go back and check that out before I grab the adrenaline and push on. I'm pretty sure that's the way we need to go. I do kind of remember areas like this being the last few levels or whatever. So let's back that ass up. And they knew I was gonna do that. job here, I must say. Really, uh, holding it down. Okay, this is good. This is good. Oh, yeah, lots more minigun ammo. How much? Everything ammo. That BFG back up and rolling. Alright, looks good. Extra health if we need it. <laughs> that spot that I was at. This will work. Well done. That's the spot I was at earlier. But man, when I... That's why I jumped up there, because... Spiders, man, the best thing you can do is just get the hell off the floor. I buy you a little bit of time or some attacks. Good, man. 
It's late in the game, still rocking it. Alright, so there's more minigun ammo right there. I'm gonna try this again. Gonna jump up. Oh, God, see, it's kinda... No, come on. Alright, so now I'm on the platform. I am moving extremely slow. There we go. Got it. Alright, cool. I'm gonna give it a save right here, because who the hell knows what's going on there. Generator. An arc fire. Woo! That hurt a lot. It's time to... Not only pick up this armor, I probably should have got that adrenaline, I forgot about that. But there's some health back here. And I gotta get it. Alright, that's not quite enough. I want full. Top that. Still not full, but. tapped out. Grab that. Fill everything back up. Okay. It's like my eighth time through this hallway here. But, you know, good reasons. This is progression. Alright, let's take that now. And proceed on. Those things remind me of Final Fantasy VII, kind of, kind of, you know, where they're making those monsters in, using the makeup. in both archaeological discovery and analysis, the UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique and fascinating artifacts. These tablets were originally discovered in the dig site under what has become known as Site 3. Subsequent examination of the surrounding area and carbon dating of the tablets brought UAC researchers to the conclusion that the tablets belong to a civilization that existed millennia ago and were placed in a holy burial ground of some sort. Utilizing the best minds in linguistics and UAC proprietary pattern recognition software, the tablets were exhaustively examined. What we found was fantastic. The first tablet provided us with a wealth of scientific data, specifically detailing the mathematical concepts behind teleportation. UAC researchers used this information as the cornerstone for building the Delta teleportation devices. 
The second and third tablets illustrate an epic story, a story of war, and how, faced with impossible odds, the ultimate sacrifice of an entire race to achieve victory. The fourth tablet details how the essence of each individual was captured and placed in the artifact we now refer to as the Soul Cube. This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior, and with it he banished the invading horde forever. Our researchers are still analyzing a recently found hidden section of the fourth zone and some related fragments. It goes into detail on the invading force and indicates the remaining survivors may have teleported somewhere. Where we do not know, although it seems to reference a map we have yet to locate. To date, there remains no evidence of any type of invasion at any of the sites. Our assumption is that time has removed all but what we now see. Interesting. But, a little bit more lore is awesome. That should be pretty good. So we got another disc here. Let's look at this one. This is Dr. Pierce Rogers, lead archaeologist. Uh, we saw that one already. Let's go through the list real quick. Sorry, I have to. Copy one of them. Hopefully, I didn't miss it. If not, look into it. I'll let you know. All right, let's move this ass along. Good. I mean, it took about six or seven rockets, I'm guessing. But that's definitely a good way to take him down. Don't want to get ambushed here. I still hear shit. That's gotta be above us here. got this thing man that rocket launcher it fucking hits hard so if you got the distances you know what I mean or the quarters to do it you do it let's crank that bitch up which didn't do anything Ooh. that's some sneaky shit was it just because I looked in there or because I went this way Cross the line. Trade your blows and I'll win. Guaranteed. Alright. Flashlight recover. We're gonna go 
down this dark tunnel here. Still in a good position to use this rocket launcher. I'm gonna milk this thing. Mainly because there's so much kiting room and room to back up. Oh, it's a growth. And those little spiky things look cute. What is that? It's another spider. Oh god, that looks like the boss that I was fighting. Oh my god, I'm stuck. There we go. Boom. That was like the second version of the, the first boss of the, of the game. I saw that and I was like, hmm. Knocked him out pretty good. It was definitely easier than close quarters, and you know, obviously, you got better weapons now than you did before. Yep. Oh god, there's another one. Run, reload. Alright, we are under heavy attack here. Reload, back up. Time to kill him. I should be gone. He is. Woo, that hurt. That was no joke. Front, back, everything. Alright, got some more armor. So that's full, but I need health. And before I move on and look for health, I'm gonna backtrack where I believe it is somewhat safe. Running around with 55 health and a rocket launcher in your hand is not the safest thing. So let's see. Okay, that was probably a bad choice. Alright, we're going home. So cute. That's right, so. We got another one. Alright. Uh, I don't want to use the BFG. Let's go. Man, that's so cute, man. It really comes in handy this late in the game because it just gets your health back. And essentially, the best part about it is a wicked awesome health leech. So I'm all the way back here. So much kiting. Alright, I'm gonna make sure everything is up and reloaded. It was a bit crazy right there. Yeah, the minigun doesn't really work too good against those big guys. I think I've used it before, but. They're just, you know, they got that hard shell and all that, and it's just, even though this is armor piercing, they're just too damn big. Seeing fires, uh, rounds that are, you know, small and meant to be carried with you. This was a Vulcan cannon, which is what the weapon is based on. It would chew through them like it was butter. Alright, so health is good, which is what we went back for. I wonder if we could have just pushed on and used the soul cube. It might have been a better choice, but... Let's complete everything, let's, you know, kill everything that we can, keep things safe. So we'll move on.